In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get eight to 10 pre-booked life insurance appointments per day. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get pre-booked appointments, and I'm going to basically show you guys the exact funnel from the ad to the instant form, to the calendar, to the automations, to ultimately what makes you sales. Uh, and I'm going to be breaking down this entire funnel for you guys, uh, the same funnel that we use to get our calendars looking like this. As you can see, every single one of these little blue bricks is a life insurance appointment. Uh, and this is also the same system that we use to sell over $312,000 in approved annual premium in just six months. So without any further ado, let's dive in. I'm gonna show you guys A, how to get pre-booked appointments. I'm gonna break down the funnel so you guys can do the same for yourself. Cool. So all of this starts with the first step in your life insurance funnel, which uh, you can't see it right now because for some reason Google Drive hates uh, loading correctly, but uh, is the ad, right? So basically the first step in your funnel is an ad, specifically an ad that is uh, you know high quality and high converting. So what we want to do in our ad, um, this is basically where we get leads, right? Uh, this is where the leads come from that enter our funnel and go down and how we ultimately get the pre-book appointments. So what we want to do in our ads, let me just get this. If you're a nurse. Up. Cool. So what we want to do in our ad is call out a specific demographic, right? So as you can see right here, at the top of the ad that says, are you a nurse? And then you can also see in the first like 30 seconds of the video, it says, if you're a nurse with kids under 20. Um, so we're being very, very clear about who we're, who we're talking to and who we're, we're calling out in this ad. So that helps a lot with, uh, like targeting quality people. Uh, there's another video on this channel where we talk about the niche method, which is basically a way to get like higher quality customers coming through your funnel, uh, where you go after people that, you know, have an income and, you know, have a need for life insurance. Uh, I won't go too deep into that on this video, but basically with the ad, we want to call out. A, a demographic of customers that we we want to serve, right? The more direct and more specific you are in the ad, the better results you're going to get. So, with the ad, um, a lot of a lot of the performance when you're talking about videos, it comes with the hook. So we want like the first three to five seconds of the video to just be really, really, really uh, strong, and then we go through and kind of like talk about um, what the problem is, and and we hit on specific pain points that are related to our avatar, right? So this is an example of a video. What you can also do is run photo ads, which we do quite a uh, you know considerable amount of photo ads as well. So we kind of do a blend of like photo ads and video ads whenever it comes to generating leads. Most important thing with the ad is again, if you're doing a video, make sure the hook is very strong and make sure it's a clear, concise message. You don't want to just like labor on and you want to hit on the specific pain points of the market. If it's a photo ad. Again, you want to very clearly call out who you want to speak to. And then there's different things you can do with photo ads. Um, you can have like a button. So they click on the button to get a, get a quote or click on the button to learn more or whatever. You want a clear call to action with the photo. So very clear hook if it's a video, clear call out and a clear call to action if it is a photo ad. So from our ad, what we do is we send them to something called an instant form. Now, the reason that I like to use the instant form on Facebook is because I don't have to go and set up a pixel and I don't have to worry about like proper data attribution and all this stuff. If you're watching this video and that just doesn't make any sense to you, just use an instant form because it's a, it's a pain in the ass to try to like set up a landing page and then have it fire back to Facebook. And if it doesn't actually fire back correctly, you don't even know when you got a lead. So for God's sake, just use the instant form. So the instant form, if you don't know, is a it's a form that's built into Facebook so that when they click on the ad, it just pops up this instant form. They put in their info, uh, first name, last name, email, date of birth, phone number. You can customize it however you want, um, but that's kind of what we do. And then they go through, fill out the instant form, and then we send them to the next step. So a couple things to note that are really important when you do the instant form is ask one multiple choice question and one fill in the blank question. This is what I've found works the best. Um, if it changes in the future, I'll let you know, but that's what I've seen works the best for now is with the fill in the blank question. We're going to use something. I always like to say, like, if you qualify, who will be your beneficiary? Because I know that when I call them, I can be like, Hey, you know, Mary, you said that, uh, you were looking to get some life insurance and your, your beneficiary would be your son, Jim Bob. Yeah, that's correct. Perfect. So I immediately have an in and it's something personal that kind of like ties that emotional connection. So I always like to use beneficiary name on the instant form. 
So the instant form at the end of it, you have this, uh, there's like a call to action where it'll be like, Hey, you know, blah, 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 blah. You're pre-approved. Click here for the next steps to fill out a short survey. So you basically, after the instant form, we want them to go and click and go to a landing page. So on the landing page, we're going to have a little survey that we have them fill out. And this is going to be like basic qualification information. So we're going to have them answer more questions. Um, they're going to tell us, Hey, is this person going to be a good fit for us? Or are they not going to be able to you know, afford life insurance? Or do they not really have a need? So we ask these qualifying questions. Uh, we can also ask health information here, which is really, really helpful. So we go through, we call it a pre-approval survey. And then after they fill out the pre-approval survey, we send them to book on our calendar. So again, add instant form, instant form goes to a survey. And then the, once they fill out the survey, we send them to the calendar where they can book directly onto our calendar. And ladies and gents, that's pretty much it. Like the last piece is automation. So, you know, if people don't go through and book with that process. We have like AI that goes out and texts them to try to like get them to respond. So you can go and book an appointment. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much it. We like to keep it very simple. The more steps and the more complicated things that you add into this whole funnel, it, you're just going to reduce your, the amount of people that, that come through and book. So you'll get less appointments. So we like to keep it very, very simple. Add instant form to a page that asks more questions. And then that page goes to a calendar. They can book on the calendar. If they don't book on the calendar, we send them texts and we're also calling them and messaging them to get them to book. So that's pretty much it. Here's kind of a little um, illustration of what it looks like. So the ad goes to the instant form, then the landing page, then the survey, and then they show up on their calendar and then they buy. And now if they fall out at any point in this funnel, we have automations that kind of like put them back in. So they go to the Facebook ad, they fill out the instant form and they go to the landing page, but they don't fill out the survey. Cool. We're going to now send them automations, text and emails to try to get them to fill out the survey. If they fill out the survey, but they don't book an appointment, well, guess what? Now we're going to try to get them to book an appointment. So pretty simple on that end. Now, ladies and gents, if you want to learn more about the niche method, which is the way that we generate high quality leads to book on your calendar and buy. These are people that you know have a need and you know have a income. This is the same method that two of our clients are using to write $30,000 per month working just three hours a day. If you want to learn more about that system, then click, hold up, then click, click this video right here. And if you want us to set up this entire funnel for you so that you can start getting your own pre-booked appointments, then click the link down below. See you guys in the next one.